The Interloopers by Sam and Charlie. Two families feuded over a forest on the eastern spurs of the Carpathians. Ultimately a lawsuit settled it and Ulrich's family claimed the forest as the rightful owner, for for infuriating George. Causing tension between the two, Ulrich grew up and ultimately became the head of his family and was given the role of watching over the land. Ulrich stood watching and listening for George because he had reason to think he was going to steal his animals. The forest seemed to have a disturbing element with the animals acting strangely. Ulrich stood there watching, hoping that George would show up so they could fight. The two enemies came face to face and glared at each other in hatred. This is why I petty your family. I own this forest now. If you want it back then you need to take it from me. Fine I guess it's time to settle this once and for all. Before they had a chance to engage in battle, nature's own violence overwhelmed them both. Both men were struck and trapped beneath the fallen tree. Wrapped in branches with his legs pinned Ulrich von Gradwitz let out a gasp of relief. Blood interfered with George's sight as he lay near Ulrich, also trapped under the fallen tree. So you're not killed as you ought to be. But you're caught anyway, snared in your stolen forest. At least I am in my own forest. When my men come to release us you will wish you were not caught poaching on my land. Are you sure your men will find us? I too have men in this forester and they may very well be the ones doing the releasing. I say, we should fight this quarrel out to the death. You and I and our foresters with no one to come between us. Count me in, sounds like a plan. Both had given up the useless struggle to free themselves from the fallen tree trunk. Ulrich took his water bottle out and drank it slowly. He then offered to give George some after he finished taking a cool refreshing sip of water. Adelric lay thinking and looking at George fighting his pain and exhaustion. His hatred seemed to disappear. Do as you please if your men come first, but if mine come first I shall instruct them to tend to your wounds before mine. We have spent our whole life fighting over this stupid forest and I come to think that we have been fools. Let's end this feud and be friends. Now everyone would be confused if we rode into the square together as friends. I have only thought to hate you my whole life but you offered to share your water with me so I will be your friend. Let's shout for help. Both men shouted for help and soon noticed figures approaching on the horizon. Oh no it's not people, it's wolves. 